President Obama has rolled out his budget plan two months after its intended timeline. It's getting criticism from both the right and the left. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity to sit down with Republican Senator John Barrasso to talk about what he feels is most troubling. Well, it's nice to finally have the president's budget. It's two months late. The House has passed a budget. The Senate has passed a budget. Uh, the, the president's budget doesn't balance ever. Not this year, not next year, not five years from now. It never balances. And I think that's a big concern for the American people. The, the other issue, you talk about infrastructure. People want to believe that they're actually getting value for their tax dollars. And right now, people think that only 50 cents of every dollar they spend that they send to government is actually you know, used wisely so they don't feel, feel they're getting value for their money. Can you create growth by bettering or improving the infrastructure? Well, the best way to create growth is to actually get government off of people's backs. The, uh, you take a look at the, the regulations that continue to come out of this, regu of this government. It's, uh, they're burdensome, they're expensive, they're time-consuming, and clearly they impact on jobs. We can't get people back to work. We have an abysmal uh, record last week with uh, with the jobs report of so many people out of work and who've actually given up on looking for work. If you want to deal with this incredible debt we have and the deficit, you need to get people back to work. Are you concerned that this kind of investment in infrastructure would, would mirror in many respects uh, the stimulus spending? Well, we know that the stimulus package failed the because it didn't go as intended uh, and, and it went to all other sorts of things, so it wasn't successful at all. Uh, you know, there are things that we can do in terms of bringing back lots of U.S. dollars that are just sitting overseas right now, but in corporations getting those dollars back into the United States and having the private economy make those investments. Uh, another feature of the president's budget is a, a chained CPI. This is uh, interesting in the sense that, that he's hearing a lot of criticism of that uh, from the left. Some would say uh, that, that if you're getting it from both sides, you must be doing something right. Your reaction? Well, I agree that we should go to the chain CPI. I support that. The president is right because it is a more accurate assessment of how uh, inflation and spending work. So I support it. The problem is the president says to get what is actually the more accurate, correct way to do it, then you have to do all these other things in terms of raising taxes on a lot of people. And I don't support that part of it, but I do support uh, approving of the, the chain CPI. Mm -hmm. what, what does a chain CPI do? What is the ultimate end of a chain CPI? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of how the government figures inflation in terms of the, the checks that go out, whether it's Social Security and others. Uh, and it evaluates really how the economy and, and inflation works as opposed to uh, kind of the way that they do it now, which is not a very accurate assessment. Another feature of the budget, it limits itemized deductions and exclusions for high-income households. What would that do to the economy, to growth of the economy? Well, you know, the churches aren't happy with that, charities aren't happy uh, with that, but it really is just nibbling around the edges. The president has done a number of things that he pulls out, maybe poll tests pretty well, uh, but when you take a look at terms of does, does it actually deal with the debt and the deficit, the answer is no, or very little. So. Uh, what we need is overall tax reform where we close loopholes but then lower the tax rates. That will stimulate the economy in itself. You have more people working, more taxpayers, not higher taxes being paid by, by just a few. You know that every, every loophole has a constituency in Washington. How do you even approach closing loopholes when you've got so much influence? Well, the, the Finance Committee is working on an overall tax reform plan, uh, which, which I believe will actually be good for the country because you have to eliminate all the loopholes but then lower the tax rates at the same time, and that'll be a huge stimulus to the private sector economy. You know, the question is, what do you want to do? Do you want to grow the government or grow the economy? And this president's budget is one that really seems fixated on growing the government, not growing the economy. We've got less than a minute, Senator. Uh, one more question for you. The president's budget claims to reduce the deficits by $1.8 trillion. Is that, is that true in your opinion? Well, it's not true because what you have to do really when you look at a budget is look at the budget this year, not what may happen 10 years from now, because there's going to be another budget next year. So you really have to focus on this year alone. Incredible debt, incredible borrowing, and an increase in taxes. It's not good for our country. It's not good for our economy.